Okay. Rodney Tom, take one. <laughs> There are those who serve in politics with distinction, class, and pride. And then there's those who find their way to the other side. In Washington, we've had our share who served with great aplomb, with dignity, integrity, and then there's Rodney Tom. He served his constituents as a Republican. He voted red consistently, that's why he'd always win. When he saw his district changing, he knew just what to do. Traded in his uniform and joined the team in blue. First he was an R, then he was a D. Now he's an R, obviously. You're never going to know what letter you'll see by the name of Rodney Tom. He dreamed that as a Democrat, he would surely be sitting in Dave Reichert's seat in Washington, D.C. But when the polls clearly showed how he would have fared, true to form, he cut and ran when he saw that no one cared. So back he went to Olympia, it's a shame he had to go. A statesman of his magnitude consigned to the back row. In fact, it was an insult, one he soon set right. Picking up the telephone in the middle of the night. At first he was an R, then he was a D, and now he is an R, obviously. Never gonna know what letter you'll see by the name of Rodney Tom. So now he is the leader of a right-wing majority. He claims he's just bipartisan, serving you and me. But we the people know the truth, it's one we can count on. The only constituent he serves is the one called Rodney Tom. So he wonders what the future will bring when he next asks for our vote and learns that neither party loves a serial turncoat. But I think I know the answer. Friends, this ain't no joke. On his forehead he'll wear the mark of K. K for the brother's coke. First he was an R and then he was a D. And now he's an R, obviously. We're never gonna know which letter we'll see by the name of Rodney Tom. We know that he will always be a man of great consistency with no shred of integrity. He'll run the gamut from A to Z. That's the nature of Rodney Tom.